back to Style Challenge with me, Diana Rikasari. How are you guys? So I'm super pink and red today and I'm channeling my Hello Kitty obsession. But anyway, Style Challenge is not about Hello Kitty. It's about a challenge that I received from you guys. So now what I'm gonna do right now is read the email that I've received from you and choose one challenge that I'll do right now. Here, Diana, can you give us some style inspirations for airport looks? I love this because I also like to browse for airport looks from Hollywood celebrities. Because the thing is, when you're traveling, you want to feel really comfortable, especially when you're going to countries that require like minimum five hours of flight or even more. So you want to make sure that you feel really comfortable in, you know, bringing all the luggages. You have to kneel down, bend down, take this, take that. And then you will be sleeping on the flight for like hours. So, and you want to keep warm because usually uh, on on the flight it gets very cold so okay I'm gonna take that challenge I'm gonna provide you three style inspirations on how to look stylish in the airport comfortable without looking slobby okay for airport looks there are actually some key items that I really recommend I love wearing like loose sweaters or like jogger pants which are stretchable or like leggings or like long cardigans things that are very easy and light but warm so for my first look, I am going to choose a sweater, a loose sweater. No tight stuff, you know, when you're flying. So this is one of my favorite sweaters. It's loose. I love it because it comes with, with this um, collar already. So it's still a sweater, but it looks rather more formal. Not, not formal, but it looks more proper, not too slobby. So I'm going to wear this. And I'm gonna pair it with just uh, simple jogger pants, so uh, I feel very comfortable. Um, and maybe I'm gonna wear, hum, I'm gonna wear sneakers. I love wearing Converse shoes or like Nike sneakers, things like that when I'm traveling. So, but for this look, I think I'm gonna pair it with my Converse, Converse sneakers like this. And I'm gonna change now. I'm gonna come back with my first airport look. Bye. my first airport look this is like one of the easiest looks that you can pull off jogger pants a loose sweater everyone's got one so um, if you want to make this look rather more of a hipster you kind of you can roll up the jogger pants a bit up like like that so it's, it's up to you. Maybe for me, I would kind of like just roll it up so you can actually show more of the sneakers also. So it's a bit more trendy. So this is my second look. Loose sweater, jogger pants, rolled up sneakers. Now for my second look. I would say that for traveling, it's more comfortable to wear pants, but if you like skirts, it's still wearable as long as the skirts are loose. So for my second look, I'm going to show you a look which involves a very loose but still pretty skirt so you still look stylish in the airport. I'm going to wear this pink skirt. It comes with like an elastic waist so it's comfy to be worn all night long and I'm going to pair it with this long cardigan to keep me warm. And I think for this one, I'm going to wear my New Balance sneakers. So it's like monochrome-ish, but with a touch of pastel colors. Wanna see? I'm gonna go change. Bye again. So this is my second look with the skirt. For the top, I'm actually wearing my husband's t-shirt. I love wearing his t-shirt because it's loose and it's comfy and it's full of love. And um, to keep me warm, I'm wearing this long cardigan. So if you feel hot, you can just take off the cardigan and just go more casual. But I like to wear the cardigan so it looks a bit more stylish because I think the style key element here is more of the long cardigan. And for the skirt, I also chose this kind of fabric so it looks a bit more proper rather than just like a jersey fabric plain skirt. And to top it off, my new Balance sneakers. So what do you guys think? 
I think these kind of looks are more proper for like domestic flights because I do think that your this long cardigan can be a bit more of a fuss when you're walking. So domestic flights. Now for the third look I'm going to show you is my favorite look and actually the look that I always do when I go traveling. It involves a white shirt, button shirt and leggings. I love traveling with leggings because they're very comfy. So I like statement pieces, right? So even when I'm choosing a white button shirt, I normally don't just go for like plain white, but I go uh, with shirts that has a bit of texture or volume. So I have this very interesting white button shirt. It's from a local designer called S or C. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I love it because it's it's basically cotton, very light, very very easy breezy, and it's a white button shirt. It goes with anything. It goes with any of your luggages and any of your bags and shoes. But this part is very stylish. So again, comfy but stylish, and it's just like effortless. So I'm gonna wear this, and I'm gonna wear leggings. And also, my favorite shoes to travel is actually somewhat like men's shoes. I love black men's shoes a lot. So I'm gonna wear this with socks. Excited to see my third look? Me too. Okay, I'm gonna change now. Bye. This is my final look, my third look for an airport look. This is my personal favorite. The white button shirt is already a statement because of its draping, but it's still comfy. And then for the legging, instead of those ordinary leggings, I chose the one that comes from velvet fabric. So it's more demure and I don't know, it just looks more polished, even though it's still very comfy and easy. And again, men inspired shoes I love with socks to keep me warm. And to top it off, I usually wear a hat. It's also easy because sometimes when you're traveling, you don't have time to go for a blow dry or stuff like that. So bad hair days covered with this hat. And of course, because we're on a holiday moon, sunglasses, please, even in the airport, because <laughs> sometimes you don't have time to do your makeup, so you cover your eyes, your black circles with the sunglasses. So I'm ready for my holiday. So um, thank you so much for watching my video. This is a very fun style challenge. I hope you find my tips useful for you guys. And if you have any inputs for me, please leave your feedback, comments, inputs, everything, suggestions in the comment section below. Please, please, please like my video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and see you in my next style challenge. Bye. Welcome back to Pick Up The Phone. She is actually the illustrator behind my book, Hi, who's this? It's me. It's me who? It's Nasi Goreng. Fruit, fruit, not food. Yes. Fruit. No, food. Food. <laughs> <gasps>